website to add one click on add new and here in the search box type Yoast SEO to search for it. Hey everyone, welcome back to getSS.net and in today's video, I will guide you through how to install and set up Yoast SEO on your WordPress website. Yoast SEO is a WordPress plugin that helps your site perform better on search engines like Google. It also gives you the tool to bring your content to the highest standards of SEO and to improve overall readability. The good thing is you can access all the important SEO tools of the Yoast SEO plugin for free. But if you want to give your SEO a boost, you can even upgrade to the Yoast SEO Premium to get more amazing features. Well, that was a brief description of Yoast SEO. Now let's get started and see how to install and set up Yoast SEO plugin on your WordPress website. To start with, first of all, you need to be logged into the WordPress panel of your website and on the dashboard in the left menu, you will find a lot of options. So there you have to look for the plugins option from the menu and then you have to click on it. Now here you will be able to see all the plugins that you have installed for your website to add one click on add new and here in the search box type Yoast SEO to search for it. Now, if it is already installed on your website, you will see the activate button given next to it. And if this is a new website, you can simply click on install now button. And once you have installed it, you have to click on activate to start setting it up. So click on activate. Now, after activating, you will see the Yoast SEO icon in the left menu. Click on that and then click on general option. Now, in the general section, you will see a few options like dashboard features, in integrations, webmaster tools. In webmaster tools, you can put in all your verification codes like for Bing or Google. And then you have to go to search appearance section. Now, here in the general category, you can put in title and description for the homepage of your website so that people will see this whenever they will search for your brand name on search engines. You can even put the logo of your website all right, right here, your organization or your business name, your brand name, and then click on save changes. Next, you have to go to content types section. Here you can adjust the settings for the post that you create on your website. You can even set the default search appearance for your content and decide what the default description should be. You can also decide what things you want to show in search results depending on the niche of your website. All right. Now in the media section, you can decide if you want to redirect the attachment URLs to the attachment itself. So it is recommended to set it as yes. All right. Now moving on in taxonomies, you can decide if you want to show categories in search results and change the settings for the categories. In the archives section, you can keep the author archives on or off. And you can manage the breadcrumb settings for your website that will help users better navigate your site and its structure. After that, go to tools section where you will find a few more tools like import and export where you can import and export settings from other SEO plugins. You can use any of your old websites and import its settings by using this option right here. All right. Next, you can see the file editor option where you can change the important files for your SEO. If you, if you will click on this, you will find the robots.txt file and .ht access file. Here you can make the changes that you want to make for your website. You can put the URL here that you want to allow or disallow and then click on this option right here at the bottom to save changes to this file that is robots.txt. Now, if you will open a particular post in Yoast SEO by clicking on post and then on all post, you can do SEO for every single post. So here I have a lot of posts on my website, as you can see right here. Now I will pick one of the posts out of these. So you can pick any post on which you want to do SEO. Now let's take this one right here. Facebook touch. Now you can either edit it or quick edit it. By using the quick edit option, you can modify the title of the post, the tags, or you can click on edit and just 
you have to go to the bottom of this page in the edit post section just go to the bottom of the page where you will be able to modify the settings for Yoast SEO here you can change the SEO title for your post or the meta description all right and on the right side you can even put in tags for your post and you can also select the category for this particular post by clicking on categories option so that was all for this video i showed you what all you can do by installing yoast seo plugin on your wordpress website if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to my channel get assist.net for more informative videos if you have any doubts queries suggestions or feedback you can reach out to the comment section down below for now i will take the leave we'll see you the next time